From the heart of the city to the outer edges of the Beltway and beyond, this is the District of Misfits Show. The drinking show with a podcast problem. This is your guide into our unique and beautiful city. The good, the bad, the ugly, as well as the funny and straight up ridiculous. Told by us before someone tells it for us. The opinions expressed on this show are our own. And we make no apologies. Hello, heathen. How the hell are you? Welcome to another special event and show of the District of Misfits show. We are a drinking show with a podcast problem. I hope everyone did amazing things this weekend. Thank you for ending it with us. Tonight we are filming live from the town tavern, tavern in Adams, Morgan. Tonight we will discuss Thanksgiving's Friendsgiving, DC Bar Wild Town Tavern, and Butter Balls. My name is Marcus Bradley Donovan. This is a District of Misfits show. Find us on Twitter, DC Misfits. Instagram, Facebook, the District of Misfits. Twitch, Pasteurized, Pasteurized Radio. You can find me on all my social medias with the Pasteurized Chef. Tonight, my hosts are Boo. Uh, my name is Boo. You can find me on, at Crushing Boo on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Val Torres. Hi, I'm Val Torres. You can find me on Facebook and also on Twitter and Instagram at, at VMTDC. Jamie. Jamie's back, guys. Uh, lives infamously, L I V S, mind you, on Instagram and uh, Bars Simpson on Twitter. I'm also still uh, James Roderick on Facebook. Fair enough. And our DJ for tonight and producer, Reality Check DJ on Instagram. Tonight, our host is our host, our guest, Zach Hoffman. And someone from Town Tavern. Some poor unfortunate Somebody. soul Somebody. sitting away and behind they, the bar. And they right got to sit next to me. So I want to thank you. Uh, between us. I not only. Us. Yeah, not only next to you. Right between, in between you and Boo. In between us. Eiffel Tower, baby. So, oh, I've done that before. <laughs> Ew, dude. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, Jamie, welcome back. It's first time back since appreciate we re- it, rebooted. It. You made a brief appearance at the Looking Glass. I know. Just let him know Daddy was back. Spilled the beer and the water on me. Thank you. You'll be all right sober. That was amazing. Thank God. Yeah, for it. You had to make up for lost time. Yeah, you know. It was a nice little hug, so I can't uh, go wrong with that. So, uh, so uh, how's everybody doing? How was your weeks? All right. Uh, mine was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah? What'd you do, boo? Well, I discovered the magic of Disney+. Plus. Oh, dear. And uh, I will be spending the next few months rotting my brain out. Um, you know, someone offers it to you free for a year. You got to take you it. you were already thinking about buying it. Uh, you know. Hang on. How'd you get it free for a year? Um, well, through a, compa- through a cable company who I'm not going to mention by name because they're not giving us any money. Word. But they offered a deal where for a year it's free if you uh, sign up for cable. So... I have added that so to you mine. signed up for cable. Well, I had internet through them already, so you know, it it, it just it, made sense. My bill went up an extra twenty five bucks. You know, I mean, it's worth it. Well, yeah. so I on accident signed up for the Hulu Plus package. Ooh, accident! I mean, not oh, the not I'm, the Hulu I'm, Plus, I'm the the the, uh, the Disney Plus bundle. Oh, that's I, perfect because you get ESPN too. I, yes, and Hulu. Well, the and I'd already had Hulu. And so, in in my fervor for the oh, Disney yeah. Plus, if you sign up for like the whole thing, you get like a, it's only like it like was like five dollars more, something like, something that. like that. Yeah. And I was I was out with you know I was uh, celebrating my our friend good friend Brian Baird, aka Bobble's birthday, and I maybe had a couple or two couple Bud Light, a couple of beverages, and and I some at some she point she drank was some water. Like, <laughs> at, at some Sorry. point, I was like, uh, this is a great idea. And so I signed up for it. And I didn't remember again until the following day when I was like, this whole Disney Plus thing sounds familiar. See, this is what I do with Amazon. I'll just come home and just buy a whole bunch of shit oh and forget no. about it. Then it's like Christmas. Oh, I used to live with somebody who like would get wasted and just order all kinds of random shit off of like eBay or then the next, you know, a couple it's days Christmas. later. It's fucking Christmas. A couple days later, some shit shows up, and he just has no idea. I'm like, anything that you'd see on, like, an infomercial, he was, like, <laughs> if he watched it for more than 10 minutes, he was definitely you, inclined. You ever that bought something me. off the infomercial? That was me. I had. Oh. It's the stupidest shit. I bought a juicer one time, like, from this white dude. His, his name was, like, Jamie something or whatever. And I was like, damn, yo, I'm about to juice all this shit. Jamie Oliver? No, I don't know. Man, whatever. Could have been. It could have been. Could have been. Who knows? 
But I'm gonna tell you right now, I think broke in like three days. I tried to juice some weed. Why? Because I was high. Well, I don't think that. I don't, I, I don't think that happened. I didn't say it was a good idea. I'm just saying I tried to juice some weed, and weed don't juice. No so shit. I have weed to tell you, juice. I back in the day when you could not, when the only place that you can get like those those things was on the infomercials, I was the Are we target. About weed or juicers? Um, juicers and things. <laughs> it, back when you get the like as seen on TVs, and you couldn't, there was no store for the as seen on tv and you know like when you, i don't know y'all might not remember because you might we be understand. too young it was um back when there was no uh late night programming it was just infomercials and i bought the airbed off of it oh no i bought the george foreman do you still have that george foreman yeah, yeah i still have it it's a good purchase there i do that was like literally i think 25 years ago <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> and I still have, George I still have the little guy. I mean, I remember like one time almost wrestling the phone away from my boy because he <laughs> was like, "You don't understand. I really need the CD Shark." <laughs> and he remembers the CD yeah. Shark, what and I was, was like, it? "What was that?" It was this little razor blade and a plastic thing that you ran along the edge of your CDs to get the plastic off. Oh, yeah. I had one because, <laughs> I had one. <laughs> because I your not. keys weren't good enough I for that not. job, because or, scissors weren't or good enough, or just the corner of a counter. Like, <laughs> I, can't, those I were, can't tell you how enough. many like n- like no limit CD cases I busted wide open. <laughs> Because no they letters. was dropping them like what once a week. Silk I mean, Shocker with week. his whack ass. I mean, the worst part about it is you know. Well, no, it's okay if you crush the CD case as long as you don't yeah. damage that amazing cover right. art that they were doing. Oh yeah, right. oh yeah, right. Right. oh yeah. That state of the art. Because no limit had it going. I think Silk the Shocker always uh, he, like his was always my favorite. I feel like he just uses a copy machine. He just oh. p- posts his pe- oh. shit oh, yeah. together. And somebody's like first edition Adobe no. Photoshop. Oh yeah. Like, they just like went on there with that paint thing and was like, "Yo, That's here's here's a Bentley. Here's the color green. <laughs> okay, I got some money somewhere in a tank." So, mm, so I have a, a, a question, two questions, because I didn't see it on the script. First question is, when are we gonna do safe words? Ah. And the reason why I ask is because this thing that's in my hand, which leads me to my second question. What is this? Well, I'll let Val introduce it. You because I feel like after this, we're going to definitely need some safe words. When y'all sent the picture, I ain't going to hold you. I was like, this is going to evacuate poorly. Yeah. Like, you're going to drink this, no and your booty win. is just going to let it ride. No, no one's gonna win it's, from this. it's delicious. Not my uh, booty. I'm, no, I'm sure it's delicious, but how many delicious things have you eaten that did not leave well? It's delicious, I, I used Jamie. I get General Sows off a of Roach Coach, and let me tell you right now, it Jamie, never went well. Jamie, it went in just fine, though, baby. It's delicious. So what so we have here? here. Facebook no, just tried no. to offer something where I watch myself while we're watching <laughs> the watch party, <laughs> and I just don't know if I need that Inception level. That would be pretty. I, I, I think you should try it. Watch yeah. I think you should try it. Try it. Watch the watch party. See what Broadcast happens. Watch yourself. Broadcast yourself. His fucking laptop. Just do it. Load. I was going to say the same thing. Do it. So what you have in front explode. of you is the butterball. Yes. So go ahead and take a take a sip. What I is? Did. Oh, this I is did. our dr- a cocktail this of the week. Cocktail, cocktail of the week. The butterball. The butterball. The butterball. The butterball. Here at Town Tavern. A- after the turkey. Well, after butterscotch. the turkey. <laughs> it is quite buttery. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a riff. It's a little bit of a riff off of their um, their Harry Potter the, thing? the Harry Potter drink. The what is it called? Butterbeer. The butterbeer? Oh, You're after all the butterbeer, which always sounded quite delicious. No, it didn't. Come on now. So Town Tavern well, I mean, in October. You smoke as weed as I do. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <Bruh>. Listen. <laughs> yeah. You'd be amazed what you find del- <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is that a Cheeto on the playground floor? <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Put peanut butter in my Doritos. <laughs> what is going on here? Town Tavern does a, a month-long um, pop-up. Of Harry Potter. Harry Potter themed thing. Do they call themselves something? Is it Dude, this thing. So is the 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 first year it was like a a Harry Potter tavern. Um, okay. They realized very soon afterwards that oh, they had to not get use. sued by yes. Harry Potter. Yes. So it's it's a it's a very town tavern, um, but they, I mean it's very Harry Potter themed. They do it every week, every month. I mean every week. They do it for a full Six month. Days. In o- 48 weeks. 
In October, it's enjoying the show. It's, <laughs> it's the full October. It's full month of October. So next October, come for Harry Potter month. Yes, and Town they do Tavern. things like you know, like every Tuesday was um, trivia night. And let me tell you, the Harry Potter people are very serious about their Harry Potter. I don't trivia. believe you, Val. You remember the? Uh, I don't believe you. you I have never met a Harry Potter fan that was ever serious about. So the it, first, right? the first year that they did it, I was I helped them out a lot here, and uh, there was this one trivia night that there was this these this group. I forget what their name was. Were they in high school? No, the no, 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 no. They they were like you know how I Marcus mean, just these be like, no fun shit, yo. Mm-hmm. Like every time you mention something that brings joy to the world, he'd be like, "Oh, were they in high school? Fuck Christmas. Were they just like whack and shit or whatever? War on Christmas? Dick. So war. Right. That's Listen. what we do. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> they were. Y'all do Harry Potter. <laughs> they <laughs> were. I mean, they were in their thirties, like late twenties, early thirties, and were they virgins? Um, I couldn't say. Prick. <laughs> but they they were very angry because Natalie, who is one of the managers here, who organized the town tavern, the the um the trivia, they were like they wrote this note on the back that was like, town tavern. I mean, um, Harry Potter is a literary work of art. And you were asking questions about the movie, and that is not Ooh. appropriate. I mean, people were pissed. The motherfuckers are gonna break out their wands and cut <laughs> this. Bitch. Sounds like I mean, Star Wars fans are the same damn way. This sounds like a and bunch Game of white women who went to GW. Yeah, I mean, like, none of, well, yeah. Game of Thrones fans. Were Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones book stands are like fucking nasty. A whole. I mean, a lot of them threw the towel in a long time ago and resigned oh, yeah. themselves to the fact that this show is not going. After season five, it went down to shit. You know, and I never read any of the books. Neither did I, but I heard about it. But I. I felt for her about it. For everybody. I can read. This says Adidas. Shit. All right. So this so thing anyway. is weird, man. I'm like, it's it's just showing me, and it's not showing you guys. And I want to see. Okay, that's fucking. Are you, that's, y'all. That's weird. Because how's it know? Oh, it's doing face recognition of you. What? I want to see this. It's just straight up face. Apparently. I would get off it, man. I'm getting off of it. You don't want Facebook following your ass around. I'd already It's too late. Around. You got a phone. That's a good point. All right, let's get our safe words out of the way. Mr. Boo. My safe word is fumble. Fumble? Fumble. 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 I needed one that I knew Val wasn't going to steal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roderick, your first time back. What are you going to do? Ooh. Let's do uh Ah, oh, shit, I ate a real good one. Damn, it's my first time back. I thought we stopped doing the damn thing. You want us to skip? Uh, yeah, skip we'll me. Come back, come back to, to me. Come back to me. I'm going to have it in a second. I'm going to have it in a second. Valerie Torres. Potter is mine. What was that? Potter. Potter? Potter. Potter. Mr. Potter. Oh, Mr. Potter. No. Uh, I don't Marcus? have one. What? I'm going to do bowling. 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 There's a that's, bowling machine. That's boring. You're boring. Uh, what was it? let's do. Uh, oh yeah, because fucking Potter's not boring. Because Perry Potter is not boring. Neither's bowling. This is why you're short. <laughs> this is why, this you're, is why short, you're short. This is why you're short. This is why you're short. Because because you don't like Harry Potter and you touch yourself at night. I that's thought it was why you're short. I thought it was all the Mountain Dew I drank when <laughs> I was in high school. No, that would make you eight feet tall, but your dick wouldn't work anymore. That's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> 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 like, uh, that's it. Like no kids whatsoever. Jesus. That's why you don't have no kids. Good. Mountain Dew, and you Shooting could be. You could be. You could be. Mountain Dew. You could be, <laughs> you could be Mountain like, Dew you're wait, 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 wait. First of like all, I can five. attest. I can attest that Mountain Dew does not affect your sperm count, and neither does marijuana. We're so just gonna put because I there. used to be batting a thousand, and then one time I didn't pull out. Now look at you. And then, and then that's what happened. Now so how's your Thanksgiving gonna go? I'm. I'm going. I'm. So, I'm. So hold on. Let me, let's rewind it. Didn't you lose uh, something today? Man. Oh, like. Oh, we doing the sports ball thing? Okay, okay, how about this? When you lose your virginity, come talk to me about football. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> hands Wait, don't count. My watch party's frozen, y'all. No, I'm uh, I'm 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 going home. The I'm Eagles, Eagles lost the Seahawks today, right? Yeah, Wasn't but that? you're a Giants fan, so no, that's, no, no. That's but you, not, and you and your wife had a little thing going. She's not my wife. First thing. First how are you a Giants fan when yet, you're from Della what? As far as Della I'm who? concerned, Della where? As far as Della I'm how? concerned, yes, my team lost. Stop being a little bitch. No, but didn't you guys have a bet going on today? No. Oh, okay. You just don't want to admit it that you lost to your to, to your. It's on ESPN. Everyone. I just want to apologize to everybody who was on my watch party. Uh, my shit froze. I had to reboot. So. Apologies. Shit froze. Jesus shit Christ. froze. 
So you guys got, uh, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Since I'm, it is a Thanksgiving show. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm going home. He's going, going back, back to, to Philly. Land of the brave. Philly. 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 He's going home back to Philly. Philly. Mm. Hey, uh, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. One, of the, one of the only places where you really got to be scared of the white people more than the black people. Where well, you got to check the stuffing for razor blades. You know, just, <laughs> I'm just, I got an honor to who cannot cook. Like, if they got a wife beater on, turn around. I, yo, one Thanksgiving, my mom put like, like my grandma made like. Putting like, raisins and everything. No, no, it's not. That. If she did that, she'd be dead earlier. Um, Ooh, no, no, so like, like we found <laughs> out. This one year, she decided she was like, "Oh, I made a new macaroni and cheese recipe." Oh no! And we were a like, new one, wait, wait, the old like, one with like the macaroni and cheese. It, like, didn't and, work. Just, and just one day, you got new macaroni and cheese. You can't do that. And I family. went to go like help her take the trash out, trying to be a good grandson. Did you throw her in it? And the bag ripped open, a Stouffer's box popped out, <gasps> and I snitched. Oh, oh, yeah. And this old trifling bitch put glass in my cake. She tried to put me <laughs> <laughs> Oh, on some Oz yo, shit where she just ground it up real Ruby fine. Ruby tried to put me. Like, I took a bite. My tongue was bleeding. I was oh, like, yo, don't, don't eat grandma, the cake. Grandma, don't what you doing cake. with that big ass cake? Here, here, here go my cousin glass. Dave. Here go my cousin Dave. And she's like, ain't no glass in my cake. And I'm just like, yo, she tried to put me down. Mind you, it was 28 of us and she wasn't going to miss me. But still, like. <laughs> Man, she t- Ruby tried to kill your ass. Evil. Evil. That's Evil. Evil. Who, what you and the kids doing? Funny. I will be enjoying the holiday with my sister-in-law and her husband and the family. My mom will be there. Uh, all the well, the grandma, both grandmas will be there. Uh, Hold on, wait. What? Repeat again. Who are you? Oh, I'm my with? sister-in-law. While I am no longer married, I do still consider my ex-wife's yeah. sister to be my sister-in-law because right. it takes a lot less time to say my sister-in-law than my ex-wife's sister. You know what I'm that. saying? That's no, fair. I mean and it's a little bit more. You know, my, like my mother-in-law is still my mother-in-law. I love that woman dearly. Like she's a beast. Like she's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll be yeah having dinner with them in Silver Spring, cold chilling, um, eating eating early, respectably early. Like you know, I like an early Thanksgiving. That way I can sleep the shit off. Well, no, I am. I used to be very like anti. Like, what the fuck are we eating so early for? But then it's like, oh, we're eating so that I can like pass out, mm-hmm. wake up, and then eat again, up, eat and again, then do it all over <laughs> again. Like, <laughs> go somewhere to fuck out. Second dinner, leftovers. We're hobbitses up in here. Trixie, Mm-mm. Trixie, it's Trixie hobbitses. Valerie Torres, what is your Thanksgiving looking like? Well, here's the funny thing. I thought I had to work. Ooh. I was supposed to work. I at used Nick's. to traditionally work on Thanksgiving. I would do dinner and then I would go like when I worked at DC Nine. Like that, thir- I worked Thursday, so that was like the norm for a really long time. Well, I was told that we open on Thanksgiving, and if you work on if that if thanks- Thursday is your shift, that you have to work. So I was all prepared to be working on Thanksgiving. I was told today I'm not working. They're gonna close early, and I don't have to come into work. Well, that's, that's a good plus. That's like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let everyone I mean, know where you work so they don't show up. It's just a thing. You can take it or leave it. It's fine, except I told my family that I couldn't come because I had to. And now you're gonna tell them you can? <laughs> Are you gonna just? No, she's not gonna tell. She's gonna hide. Well, they're gonna know now. Well, first of all, well, she, she just snitched, snitched on herself <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> that's so what I'm saying. Through the internet, so much for that. You, like, like just slam snitch. So she should just been like, "Yep, I'm working." So where were you supposed to work? I'm being a bitch. I was supposed to be working at Nick's Riverside Grill. You better find a way to log in. No, no, it's I'm, fine. I might still have to work. You'll be. <laughs> hey, I might still have to work, mom. Now my um, other job might be calling me. Maybe, in. maybe I'll see y'all. I don't at know. Christmas. Supposedly, the their game is opening on Thanksgiving too. Who? Hmm. The game sports club that's up the street. Oh. Mm. So I actually like coming down to Adams Morgan and doing. What are we gonna shows. do a show from there? We can't. It's just. It's so really tiny. tight, and you two motherfuckers are huge. Oh, yeah. oh so I, we're being sizes now. And I'm fat now, so. Fumble. We can't sit. You anywhere. said fat Fumble. <laughs> yeah, bitch, fat, fat now. now. <laughs> I'm not big. We just I'm got just to big, big bone. You, have you ever seen a skeleton with a double chin eat a dick? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you can't see are you my double chin. talking about me or you? How do you know I got a double chin? <laughs> you don't know my life? <laughs> you don't know my life? Well, we can technically see yours. What's going on under that beard? Yeah, bitch. Everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> a chiseled jaw. Marcus, Marcus over a here chiseled jaw. I highly doubt beard. it. You got a set of balls underneath there? Uh, allegedly. Ball Chinian? You just call me a ball Chinian? Uh, oh, he's straight ball Chinian. No, no, no. I watched ball the, I, I watched the movie <laughs> 43 last night. <laughs> you guys ever seen the movie uh, 43? No, I don't think it exists. 43? 43. Yeah. The Bush movie? I'd say it's like a some, W movie. I that was W. No, 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 no. It's oh, that uh, is W. Yeah, with uh, Josh it's, Brolin. It's like a movie with a bunch of shorts on it and Jack. Uh, Short, oh uh, yeah, and he has the, a set the of balls, balls with his chin. 
It's so fresh, it's fresh guys, on the brain. You making that face? That shit is funny. It's what fucking hilarious, fuck? especially when it my, gets cold. My kid at somebody's birthday party pulled one of the scenes off of that <gasps> shit. No, that's a fucked it up. Was, your, it, was your kid. it was somebody's birthday, and he blew out the kids' candles. <gasps> oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I got a lighter. It's cool. Oh, I, like, we can be like this. It's all right. <laughs> like, these does. candles still work. Why'd you let your kid watch that movie? I didn't let him watch it. He just did it. Like, uh, oh, so he just and, pulled it. Okay, and right. let's review. Your child is how old? He's, at the time, he was three. He's four now. He's still alive. Because <laughs> that makes a difference. He's, he's, he's able still, to find all alive. of the porn on your phone. He's still alive. I actually... Um, uh, oof, and we'll talk about that later. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, we got we got it up before now. No, talk about all right, he caught me jerking off a couple weeks ago. It was weird. No, oh. like, so like he's four, so it wasn't really like a real good jerk off. And you weren't hurting his mom at the time. He so. was just like he was just like it just, like it just in the room, scratching. and I thought he was asleep somewhere else or whatever. And like I have it on like a hundred or anything like that. I'll just like watching porn on my phone or whatever, thinking like cool, everything's good. And then like this little asshole popped out on me. I thank God for covers because I was like. <gasps> <laughs> so did he buddy, see the Eiffel Tower? He buddy, no, he was like half sleep. Like, Daddy, are you camping? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing Daddy to is yourself, the dad? Daddy is the circus in town. But he's also like, he's also at like that weird age where like, like if you look over, like all he's doing is grabbing his dick. Oh, he is dude. in prime. So he's, he's about uh, that is a conversation. Like, you know what, do. dude? I think that you and I we we've been talking about doing an offshoot show for our spinoff. <laughs> we might have to do like <laughs> the dick grab show. No, no, no. Uh, just like uh, Kels, uh, uncomfortable <laughs> the uncomfortable perils of parenting. Oh man, you know I've all the pitfalls, shit. all of the shit that does not, that's that's not in the brochure yeah. or in the do you book get in the or on the YouTube tutorial video. Your mother didn't tell you about the jerking off. So what to expect when you're no? This is I'm gonna tell you right. No, you can't ever expect or write this shit down. No. Like, because Jamie no. a piece of shit. Like, all we I can know do, he's mine because he do, is a piece of shit. All we can do is continue to Baby document Jamie? these things on, like, what could possibly right. happen. But and by then, no like, means is any of this, like, no, predictive or instructive. Because they're fucking weird. So how old's your son again? He's nine. So he's not at that age where he's pulling he's it yet. He's still really you obsessed got, you with got, butts. You got three years until, Every, like, it's dick beating time. This yeah. two oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> although, two you know two what? hours in the bathroom? Although, I, lo- I love him. He, he he has my name. He has my face. He I will chop this face. little motherfucker. He ran up on me today and chopped me in the back of the neck and ran. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and little, <laughs> as he's running down the hall, and I'm like, oh, yeah, motherfucker. And then as he's walking by, thinking I'm not paying attention, I go to take a swipe at him, he runs away, and then when Did I'm not fall? looking, oh, no, 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 <laughs> but like, as soon as I'm not looking, he walks by and tags me again. I was like, son. You getting slow in your you old know, age, I was man. like, I know where you sleep, and like, he got this look on his face. He was like, oh, shit. He don't understand that hand-neck ratio. Oh. Like, you will catch him with that like, cuff and not my eyes hand. crook it. My hand is like two of your necks, son. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, Boo gonna pop this man in the I back of his neck, and that boy eyes gonna be popped like I a pistol. Gonna end up getting child <laughs> protective <laughs> services called on me if I pop you just right. Like, just hear that cup. That why is DJ? <laughs> why is DJ incapable of walking in a straight line all the time? Why is DJ, why is DJ he's, like Marcus? He's, he's right. got vertigo. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to my life, got DJ. A t- got a constant concussion and shit. I'm yeah, fucked his ass but up yeah, playing with daddy. Yo, he, he's. I mean, he takes karate. Man. Like he's his fuck third you year. Up when this he gets is his third year. He's a little blue belt now. He's all but yo straight. You think he does some shit like ran? You better beat your kid now before he turns 13. Man, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Spare the rod. Get karate chopped in the back. Right. Because brutal. Roderick can clearly still beat my ass, and I'm That's not even going to try to chop that one. That's all right. It's all fun and games, so Daddy power bombs him on the bed. Man. Ooh, like he's Man. a power bottom? Sorry. Did you just call my son a power bottom? <laughs> no, I was talking oh. to you. So wait a I'm going to just uh, hold on, wait, wait pause. I'm going to instigate Ugly. the shit out of this. Marcus is like, damn, your son a power bottom already? Like he He just taking it like that? Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Remember that time you made a little girl cry? Hey, Marcus. I rightfully deserve that one 100%. Marcus has red too. hair right now, by the way. And you know what? If my son did turn out to be a power bottom, I would still love him just as much. See, that's where I, I, that's right where I was It's getting. only homophobic when you if mention not it. more. We say? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See, this is why we don't bring Philly on all the time. Cause you want to hear some real wild shit? Yes. I, um, I got into a conversation with a young lady at my bar, and I was talking about my son. And she told me to stop calling him son. Why? And I was like, why? And she was like, she was like, well, he hasn't identified as a gender yet. And I was like, sweetheart. Oh, no. Last week he asked his mom where her penis was. All I'm saying is like, he's, he, go fuck yourself. As far as he's, he's, he's a boy until this time happens. It's a free for all. <laughs> it's a free for all. Like what the fuck? 
<laughs> All right, let's move it on from <laughs> masturbating <laughs> and in front of your hey, children. Hey, Jamie, let me give you some unsolicited uh, advice on how to raise your child. All right. Lie. <laughs> no, that was literally me just telling tell no, that person. I know. Go, that, that's what I'm saying. Lie. They, they could like. eat the whole bag of dicks. All right, so some of our friends are actually going to be doing some stuff for Thanksgiving. Uh, I have a couple of names here. I'm sure Val has a couple more. Uh, Lyman's Tavern over on 14th Street. Kitty O'Shea is over in Cleveland Park. Shenanigans right down the street here at Adamsburg, which we did one of our shows. DC Reynolds right next to Jamie over to Looking Glass. Uh, yeah, if you go to any of these sites for any of these fine establishments, they will all have links and ads to their respective Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving events. So what I wanted to, the reason why we thought thought about this to begin with is because, you know, I'm, I'm we're, the, we're, I am good friends with the people who work in and own uh, shenanigans. And, you know, they are friends of ours. They're very supportive of us. Um, something that they've done for many, many years, which I think is really important, is that they, um, every Thanksgiving, they offer a dinner, a Thanksgiving dinner to first responders and veterans. Nice. For, yeah. And it's open to, and, and then also to industry folks. Um, so friends and family to just come and join them. And so, you know, a lot of, especially for, especially for people industry and then also first responders and veterans who have to work or are unable to go home they're able to come to thanksgiving and at shenanigans and <laughs> and have you know depending uh, on how drunk you get that night that can be the weirdest one night stand you have ever like had to go uh, yeah like I'm you get that that kind of homelessness veteran guy looks a little good uh, still with the scrappy oh. beard. I didn't mean to laugh you know? at the <laughs> end of what you were doing, Val, but I was looking at the playback and Jamie, Jamie made this face after taking a sip of his beverage that just had me. Did like, his pinky stick out? Did I mean, he just it? was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if his pinky. It was like if his pinky poked out, but it was in a facial expression. Uh. Like. Hey. Mm. Well, so I want to get into the next one. So. Saying that they do Thanksgiving for a lot of industry folks, I know myself. I worked many of Thanksgivings and offered Thanksgiving meals to many people. Everyone at this table has been in the industry. If you're not still in the industry, what do you guys think about people coming and eating at your restaurants or establishment on Thanksgiving? Um, Miss, our friend Laura Hayes for uh, the Washington City Paper actually did an article on this, and I thought it was a really good read. So, I mean, I was just going to ask you guys what you guys thought. Disney's not Disney shit. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Wow. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. still thinking about I'm, Disney? I'm and, uh, I've been watching Rescue Rangers. It's weird. Anyways, what the fuck is that? Guy? What DC's, was it? Di DC's, Disney, DC's, Disney Plus and Thrust. Disney Plus and Thrust, baby. The new Netflix and Chill. Mandalorian and Nasty. <laughs> baby Yoda. But, uh, no, I mean Dis. Oh, shit. DC <laughs> is Are very, very transient. Like, it's a lot of people here who don't have friends yet. So it's always nice to know it's somewhere you can go and actually get in. All I mean, right we are field. we are sitting in a 49ers bar in the middle of DC. So exactly. that is very true. Go. Exactly. So like, I mean, that's the best thing for it. Like, fuck it. You got somewhere to go, right? Right. And I think that you know, like, even more so. Um, this article is mostly talking about people who maybe, you know, who. Might not have not might not be able to like go home. Maybe uh, might I'm, not be able to. I'm very pro going out for a few reasons. One, because yeah, not everybody has, you know, a home situation that they can go to. Not everybody, you know, some people, you know, you might be in D.C. You might have the misfortune of having to go out of town on business yeah. and be in D.C. for Thanksgiving or be somewhere, and you know, the only place to go is a restaurant. Um, before I got married yeah. and had kids, and it was just me and my mom. Like, right. we would go, you know, for Christmas and for Thanksgiving, we would go to restaurants, you know, and just like, you know. And as when I was served, when I was a bartender, like, I was more than happy if I worked Thanksgiving and we happened to have food somewhere. Because like, this is definitely a good, it's a good, good paycheck that day if you do. All right, I mean, and if you are, if you have to work, like, you know, you tend to make people. People hate their speaking, families. It's a short. It's a short shift usually. You usually right. start a little later, open at nine or something like that, you know, and you go through the night and. Oh no, we're talking more so like people who go out for like dinner, like dinner for Thanksgiving. Oh, um, Thanksgiving. but yeah, but that, I mean, he's, that's the same thing. I think dinner. Well, I, I, but I'm I for think, it either way. I like it, right, but know. I think that what people, what most of most of the people who are in industry who were responding, were saying that. Hi. Um, <laughs> now you can come on. We can interview you. We're saying Lying that. Uh, um, 
<laughs> you want to come on? Wait. You want to come on? Wait. Wait. You ain't black. Come eat this chicken on camera. <laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> um, I think that they were saying about how. Um, um, Get back on a train, Val. I'm sorry. Get back on it. You can do it. You can do it, Val. You can do it. <laughs> that's, that, that's that buttery shit. You it's been the drinking. buttery this stuff. This is what I love about live um, shows. So I was I think getting ready to say the same I thing. I think that they were. Um, they're okay. Get back on the train. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Take a sip of your drink. Oh, there's no left. 27. What? 36. Yep. Oh, it's yeah. We need a penalty point. shot. Go ahead, Val. I don't have a shot. Take a sip. I have we'll, my we'll, beer. We'll, yeah, get that. So what I was saying is that I think that the, you know people are very appreciative of um, going out for the most part. You're going out. You're you're going on uh, out for a holiday, and um, for the general public coming to an establishment on on the holidays, I think the ma majority of the responses to Laura Hayes's um, article were that you know as long as people are grateful and like are kind to you, like while well, you're you don't feel badly about working on Thanksgiving. No, you know? I, yeah. and, um, I I found people to be extra appreciative whenever I worked Christmas Day or Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right. You know, like. I, I can say myself as somebody who's traveled a lot in most a lot of my twenties and thirties, like living in New Orleans, living in North Carolina, and my family being up here, it wasn't a two hour drive. It was like a five to nine hour to drive. So be able to go to a restaurant or somewhere else was always great. So, I, 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 if I, at the risk of jumping ahead, um, we were supposed to be like talking about pot potentially funny Thanksgiving stories. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sure. And like, okay, so I don't have any stories from like dinner with the family or anything. But there was one amazing year when I was working at DC Nine. Shout out to Bill and Amber, um, where we did uh, we did turkey bowling, okay. and he went and got a bunch of one liter soda bottles, Fanta bottles, and we set them up like pins, like at one end of the bar, and like we, he got a plastic wrap, and they oiled it up, and we had fucking frozen <laughs> turkeys. And like we had like heavy metal music playing. It was like heavy metal fucking turkey bowling. Please tell me there's video of this. I why are you always trying to snitch, know. white man? I, I want to see it because I think it's funny. Ask, I'll have to ask him. But <laughs> like, hey, Bill's the that was one of the most it. like ridiculous Bill is also and fun. Man. Like, <laughs> that was one of the most ridiculous and fun Thanksgiving evenings I I, I got to participate in. All right, guys. For so what we're going to do right now, uh, Val's going to do a plug, and we're going to go to a little bit of a break and come back with Zach Hoffman. So um, here we just wanted to give a little shout out to Town Tavern. Um, this is we are in the heart of Adams Morgan. Town Tavern has been here for many many years. Um, owner and operator is Gracie Lee Anderson and her husband, Chris Anderson. They are very dear friends of mine. They have lots of different specials throughout the week. In addition to um, doing lots of um, sports foot, sports and football area. Wow. They, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sporting events. I mean, they, it's not just football. They, they do other things. Um, but you they sound like throw the thing to the other side of the thing and score. Sports ball. Sports ball. Sports ball. I mean, that's what they do. Sports they, ball. They, they do don't, the sports ball. They don't just have football. They have other Balls sporting sports. events. And they and they're they're big. Um, they're big Kentucky Wildcats. Yes, if you are a University of Kentucky alum or if you are a 49ers fan, you're at home. This is, you this will is be where they go. well. To see a red in this motherfucker. <laughs> San Francisco it Giants is. fan, you'll be in good company. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go to a little bit of break. We've got a little message from D.C. Barwa, and then we're going to have Zach Hoffman on. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to call to order this public hearing of the uh, Committee on Transportation and the Environment. It is now 11.08 a.m. Uh, on Monday, November 4th, 2019. We're in room 500 of the John A. Wilson Building, located at 1350 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. I'm Councilmember Mary Che. I represent Ward 3, and I chair this committee. Um, the purpose of today's hearing is to discuss two topics. One is the future of micro mobility in the district, and the second is B23359, the Electric Mobility Devices Amendment Act of 2019. Morning, uh, Chairperson Che, uh, Councilmember Allen, uh, Council and Committee staff. My name is Mark Lee, and I serve as the coordinator of the DC Nightlife Council, a nonprofit trade association and business membership organization 
representing and advocating for local independent bar, restaurant, nightclub, and entertainment establishments of all types and sizes, as well as all licensing categories located throughout the city and contributing to a vibrant community, nightlife, and dynamic nighttime economy in the district. The DC Nightlife Council strongly opposes the proposed ban on electric scooters between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. as specified in Bill 23359. Uh, or for any other period of the day or at any time during the week. We additionally recommend that the committee exercise caution regarding promulgating excessive regulations or operating restrictions for dockless scooters, bicycles, mopeds, and other personal transit modes. It is imperative that regulatory policies preserve the affordability of these alternate transportation options for users protect the financial vitality, viability of service providers, allow for continued robust marketplace growth, and serve to encourage the further expansion of consumer availability. Uh, hello, my name is Zachary Hoffman. I'm the Vice President of the DC Bar and Restaurant Workers Alliance. Uh, we are an inclusive worker-driven platform providing protection, empowerment, advocacy, and tangible services to the bar and restaurant workforce. I'm here today representing the bar and restaurant workers to both support this bill and offer a major piece of criticism to the legislation as written. Uh, several sections that are beneficial to micromobility climate across the district, such as the speed limit of 15 miles an hour, regulations on sidewalk use, geographic fleet density requirements, and regulations for storage and docking. All of these regulations are building towards a more responsible and accessible fleet of low-cost transportation options for workers and the public at large. I think it's safe to say that everyone in this room supports a safe, reliable, and responsible network of micromobility options to accompany our already robust albeit imperfect, public transportation infrastructure. I would, however, however caution over-regulating the sector in light of reducing the likelihood of major price increases, making these options less viable and financially accessible, ultimately rendering their presence as a luxury instead of a tool which many benefit. I then continue on in my testimony to um, point out the completely ridiculous nature of prohibition between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. use of the scooters and micromobility uh, that would disproportionately affect workers that are a re reduced to a more finite pool of resources for transportation post-shift. Um, you can see all of my thoughts on that in my testimony. Welcome back, Miss Smiths. We are here at Town Tavern in Adams Morgan. Just a very quick plug. Um, this is what I love about doing this live and what I love about this industry. One of our good friends, Rico Wisner, who works up the street at Tiki on 18th, just brought us a lovely boomerang pina colada for us to enjoy during the show. You guys what? enjoy. Get for Rico. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is great. Um, we have Lou. Uh, we have Carl, who is one of the bartenders here at Town Tavern. Carl, thank you for being on the show. Please thank you guys for having me. Tell us all a little bit about yourself. I mean, I'm Carl, C. Peter Boss, a.k.a. your auntie's favorite teddy bear. What's your mixtape <laughs> name? <laughs> I want to hear the mixtape name. It has to be fire. When's yeah. your mixtape coming out is what I want. Uh, mixtape coming out next weekend, you know. It's Lonely at the Top? It's called, it's called um, the, the Bartender Stories, oh, part no. one. Oh, I like that no. song, uh, Power Top. That's, that's, a, that's not a mixtape. That's a porno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie would know. One man's mixtape is another man's porno. Right, right. You know, so, uh, Power Top out here. Carl, Carl how, long you, how long you been here? 
Uh, I've been here for about seven months now. Okay. Are you uh, are you a local? Are you a native? Born, born and raised here in the city. Born in the DMV. Born and raised. Born, born and raised in, in southeast. Oh, southeast. Want you, uh, the south side. You want to give some shout outs? You want to give some shout outs to some people, some neighborhoods? No, no, no. I can't. I can't do that. All right. He don't want to stir no trouble. <laughs> for do he don't want to stir up no trouble. Uh, I hey, shout out to the Sip City, though. All right. That's you what I'm going to raise that right a, a West Philly proverb. Niggas get shot for less. Um, oh, like, shit. Just, just saying. Like, oh, <laughs> so, uh, Carl, if anybody's watching this show and they're like, yo, that's my dude. I'm trying to go hang out at his bar. When, when can they come in here and, and, and find you? They can come up here any day. I'm here Tuesday through uh, through Sundays. Tuesdays we do what we call drunky okey. Oh. It's karaoke. Oh. But Led by Carl. We don't give you the words. So that's why it's drunky okey. Oh, that's awesome. You got to know these songs. Because you, you might get a little bit of, because all of me love. No, nah, I ain't going to do that to him. <laughs> Vocals. I might take somebody's girlfriend tonight. So, so I just want to say, if you hear Rumble. a cowbell, it's a rumbling. It is a San Francisco bar, and apparently they just score. Yes, the Niners just scored, scored a touchdown. Y'all bear with us. Yeah, we Niners, they just We got to accept that bullshit. We ain't got to talk about that. So I will say we I mean, are. I'm, a, I'm only a Niners fan when they give me tips. This is, I mean, that's the only way. That's to trouble do it. in a bag right there. What flavor right. is that? Pina colada. Pina colada. Nice. So you're bartending upstairs. I feel like getting yes, caught sir. in the rain. <laughs> every Wednesday and Thursday, I'm here. We do uh, comedy every Wednesday and Thursday here at Town Tavern. Fridays and Saturdays, <laughs> we do a ten dollar open bar. All right, tell pull us up a, on me. What Fridays and Saturdays? You so say. tell yes. tell us a little bit. It's, it's from what time? It's a power hour, right? So Fridays are from nine to eleven. Ten dollar open bar. All you can drink. Um, domestic bottles and uh, rail drinks. Is anybody over twenty two? There might be a twenty three year old every so often. <laughs> there might be. <laughs> How much throw? Seriously, dude, who goes to those kind of places? That's like at the beach, you get 50 cent fucking... It's college this kids. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm yeah. not hating on I mean, it. I white man, it. stop telling Abra shit. Like, <laughs> Will you come well, to the door, be 21 and over, please? No, thank that's you, not what, I, that's not what you, I meant. I just you. meant. It's, it's primarily really college kids. Like, and, that's and, what I do. Like, Catholic University comes and, here. Yeah. GW comes here. Much like AU swimming in the ocean, if you're going to drink, drink with a buddy. Oh, no, exactly. How many creepy 45-year-old men are about to show up to this thing just because that shit happened? Oh, let me tell you about this shit. Please. Tell oh. us about this shit. Oh, please. Do you, you have do any you, creepy stories? The there there, who's there, got there the is one man in who's here got that the Jamie, 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 Jamie. He comes in every Friday. Oh, there's a dude. I'd be like, oh, he's definitely oh, yeah. in his, like, 60s. Ooh. Is he wearing a, like, He's just trying to see what the kids are doing. Is he wearing He's a- like what I call a uh, yuck mouth, because them teeth is just horrible. Yo, cuz, don't that fuck your whole day up, yo? You see somebody with some fucked up ass teeth? He got a hundred chiclet pile right, up going on in right. there. Right, he got them dolphin teeth. 32, 32 chiclets. The breath just sm- his breath just smelled like earring backs. Right, right. Oh. my <laughs> earring backs. <laughs> he got an ear on his forehead, and for some odd reason, he's shot playing out to hockey ball. Circle, take a square. M- remember when you get your jewelry from Claire's, yeah. and then the yeah the earring backs to be like. You'd be like what the- Fuck is that smell? Oh, that's you, that's bro. My, that's my ear. <laughs> that's the back of my that's ear. Your, that's your bo- that's your body oxidizing right. from that fake. Oh god, fake that's some silver. shit. Not even pure silver it's on their not ears. No. So Carl, you, my you lobes. get the nickel. What up, itchy lobes? Carl, you got anything else to tell us about Town Tavern and yourself? I mean, it's a great time. We like to come here, have fun, have a good time. You know, it's the best spot on 18th Street. It's definitely no a fun shade, spot. no shade to the uh, to the game. No shade to the game. You got no it. shade. I want to hear about this old creepy have. dude. What do you? Whoa, what do you? Uh, what do you got going on for Thanksgiving? Oh, oh. Will you? We be? we might have a turkey that'll be here for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. All right. Do tell. You know for a little like a little bit of stuffing. A little bit of stuffing. Little friends. Who's and making this stuff? stuffing? Oh no, actually, let me rephrase that. Whose grandma's making this stuffing? Now the raisins in it is the question. Are they, you know, if I see one motherfucking raisin in this, no stuffing, raisin, unless it's bread pudding, I'm gonna fucking smack you. I uh, now this is this isn't Karen stuffing. I am definitely okay <laughs> with waging a war it's on like raisins. Karen stuffing. <laughs> I've definitely been to. Some, you said uh, a Karen stuffing. He said this like, isn't Karen. This, this isn't Karen. So if you say stuffing Karen. with raisins, it's a Karen stuffing. Sorry, we are naming Karen. it here. Hashtag Karen stuffing. So my Hashtag. mom, my mom was trying to be nice one year. Took us to like one of her little random ass friends' houses, and I thought the stuffing had like almonds in it. Absolutely not. Almonds. 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 No, what was it? They were just hard ass raisins. No, it was a hard ass roach. Oh, oh. 
born in Philadelphia. Man, I've never been one to flip the table Marcus over just, during Thanksgiving. Just to oh, no, no, no. Up, this was in Delaware. I'm shaking. Dela what? Well, let's think Della about it. Dela who? Dela what? Delaware. Wilmington is the sister restaurant or sister uh, city sister of, restaurant? Phil- yeah, of Philadelphia. You said Delaware like you from Wilmington. Bitch, I'm from the nickel. This rap first shit is simple. First. With a little socks in the air in your sister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Ooh, Philly just Ooh. got when, shit when on. When did you say that mixtape was coming oh, out? Wait, Paul, <laughs> wait, you, you remember how Marcus was in here talking shit, but he a Giants fan? Talking about he from Delaware? Della what? Della who? And I don't see no also, football team guys, in Delaware. I, I hate to tell you, Marcus, Della how? Is, Marcus is the only person who got sober and fat er. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Look, look! You look at the angle on Marcus. Look at that oh, Java the Hut gun right there. Bitch, I'm watching the whole damn thing. I can see it live. You ever be like, you ever be Marcus like, yo, like, bro, just like, just like, let them I buttons know. go, bro. Let them buttons go. Like, Tell me. Now that was funny to me. That was funny to <laughs> me. <laughs> and I will allow this. Like you got a. Fu- <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. I can take this. I'm used to it. <laughs> He could be sitting in bed with a bunch of bonbons, be like, "Fuck you, Jamie, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all got to chill. Y'all got to chill here on the Swiss podcast. I'm not fat. I'm just big boned. <laughs> <laughs> I am used. Uh, Marcus, Marcus needs some diet water right now. Like, I mean, just, <laughs> just get him some milk. Yeah, he needs some milk. milk. <laughs> I was sapped all Wait, this. Marcus got that I'm mad as shit, but I ain't trying to let you know face. <laughs> I grew up in Delaware. I'm used to Philadelphia people. Shit ain't that us. like the same face, though? It's like the I fucked the face. Like you caught your friend fucking somebody and shit. Oh. Marcus got the I, got, I fucked the face. Hey, like, oh, I hit that two that, face. Look, look, that's look, the, that's look, the face. Was that the, the, face. The, the I hit that two face. Mm-hmm. The oh, you hit that two face? Or, or like a kid walked on you jerking off. Look, I Ooh, can that's admit, a whole I different admit, kind of face. I can admit my faults. I don't know what that face looks like, but I can imagine it's not a good face. My 10-year-old walked in on me jerking off and shit. Like. All right, now, true, to be fair, I was four. You said he's four? He's four. I was four and walked in on my parents Christmas morning. Oh. Uh, they oh, were going to take your, me to the oh, king. Oh, Pops. <laughs> I ain't got that <laughs> much to bring. Pops was making it work. Pound town. James, oh, Jamie, I want to tell you something. <laughs> He's going to remember. <laughs> He's going to remember. Because I'm let me tell you something. You know what, 41 years later. <laughs> still still remember. Remember. Boo remembers. Still remembers. The, the, the horror. horror. The horror. Oh, the horror. The horror. Yeah. You, did, you didn't have to make that noise. No, just... All right, so Carl, we're gonna get on Look out of here for a sec. Go to our next break. Uh, yo, Carl, thank you so much yeah. for being on the show, my thank man. Thank you guys. Come thank through you guys and see. For having me. Come through and see Carl. Get your drunky okey on. Uh, go yeah. birds, baby. Go oh. birds. Fly eagles fly, fly all day. Eagles fly. All right, Val, yeah. you give us know the plug. Is. Gobble, um, gobble, again, gobble, gobble, gobble. here we are at the Town Tavern. We love him here. Awesome. In the Adam heart Morgan. of Adams Morgan, on the street of 18 Northwest. Across from where I get my mani pedis. Oh, yeah? Enchanted? <laughs> and you're talking shit to me. You <laughs> got to take care of those feet. Get up. Shout hey, out to my homies up. at Smash across the street. All right. So this time we're actually going to bring Zach on. Uh, Carl just had to come down because he got a break from upstairs. So we're going to have a little break. We have something about our GoFundMe page that we just uh, produced and we're releasing it. So please watch this video of Boo. Word. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Greetings. This is Crushing Boo from the District of Misfits show. If you're receiving this transmission, we need your help. Time and time again, our attempts to spread our message of peace, love, and shenanigans has been hampered by equipment malfunction. Help us upgrade our gear, expand our reach, and save the galaxy from the forces of evil, or at least the forces of boredom. You can help by donating to, liking, and sharing the link attached to this video. Please help us, misfits. Your only hope. Guys, welcome back. Uh, Michael, get the fuck out of the picture before I smack the shit out of you. (laughs) Don't smack nobody. Don't let me do that to you, guys. I'm about to smack a six foot seven motherfucker. You gotta <laughs> stop drinking Mountain Dew and touching yourself. Like <laughs> me, God damn it. He's gonna come at you like a spider monkey chip. Spider we'll monkey. Ju- he gotta jump off some shit first. <laughs> I'm on a high chair right now. All right, Val, do you have the link to that? 
I do. So what you just, if you stayed with us during our break, it was our GoFundMe page. Um, the video that where Boo, Boo, Obi, Obu Wan Kenobi. Obu Wan. <laughs> Obu Wan Kenobi. Kabooby. <laughs> Obi Wan Kabooby. 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 <laughs> Requested your help. Um, our GoFundMe page, it, the link is uh, gofundme.com backslash manage backslash we hyphen need hyphen you hyphen misfit. That's a lot of hyphens and shit. All the hyphens. I mean, that's I mean, we'll put is. that. We'll put in the show notes. Yes. Hashtag butt naked. But, but yeah, please, p- please support us. You know, we are currently. We just started, um, really back on our show with our own equipment, um, our basic equipment that we have right now. And we'd all, like all to of our dads who are lawyers and own dealerships have cut us off from our trust funds, and we really. Really need your we help. We really need your help. We so really need your help. Okay. <laughs> please support us. This stuff is not gonna pay for itself. Okay. So yeah. So d- right doing now. Doing a good job anyway, though. Yeah. Doing a okay. great job. Thank you, Zach. Good Thanks, show, buddy. So on with us right now, we have Mr. Zach Hoffman, our DC Barwa. Zach has been very busy. Everybody, What's applaud up? him. Hello, hello. Zach, go ahead and introduce yourself about where you work uh, and yeah. exactly what DC Barwa is. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm Zach Hoffman, uh, at ZAC90210 on Instagram. Um, I am the vice president of the D.C. Bar and Restaurant Workers Alliance. Uh, I'm the head bartender also at uh, Le Jam over in Union Market. Come and see me. Um, yeah, D.C. Bar and Restaurant Workers Alliance. You guys have probably, if you watch the show, you've seen it, you've heard it. Uh, we've been on here a couple times. Um, we had the big party on Halloween or after Halloween at uh, one eight. You guys were uh, were out there. It was great. Yeah, that was Grand a, that, that time. W- that was an awesome show. That I was actually, a great I, show. I really enjoyed that. It was, it was, I like the longer format. Yeah, it didn't happen. I wasn't there. I had some dreams about that. That might, that might that be why hit, it was that, so good. That district made <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> oh, that bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know that I don't really drink a lot of liquor. I drank half what? that bottle. What? <laughs> You're always I drinking liquor. Is that how you ended up with no pants dancing on the bar? Yeah. Yeah. I Did you get butt neck right after I left? Shit? It happened I after I left. The Boujolet. The Boujolet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they call it? The Boujolet. So, Zachary, continue. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you don't know about us, uh, DC Bar and Restaurant, DC Bar and Restaurant Workers Alliance, we're a the only fully driven manned worker advocacy group with. 100% worker interests in mind. Uh, we're based out of here in D.C. for the, the DMV, greater D.C. area. Uh, we are uh, focusing on making the day-to-day life of bar and restaurant workers better in whatever way that we can. Um, if that's legislation with D.C. Council or uh, initiatives through the community or outreach or literally any way that we can physically conceive of making life better we do it so. uh, now if somebody wanted to join what's the what's the qualifications and where can they go to join let's get out of the way now yeah if you uh if you work in a bar or restaurant you automatically are in our constituency um back of the house in front of the house back of the house front of the house kitchen sous chefs managers doesn't matter uh if you are not a manager in the sense that you can't fire anyone and you can't write the schedule mm-hmm. uh you are considered a worker uh, it's all the same price a year, it's thirty-five dollars a year to, to be a member um, for the founding year. For the founding year, you know, it may go up after this, so you definitely want to come to one of our events and sign up soon. Um, you can find out more at dcbrwa.org. Uh, there's a whole bunch of good information on there, and you can send us an email. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that kind of stuff. It's all at dcbrwa. Twitter's uh, at dc underscore workers. Uh, we put out a whole bunch of good info on there. Yeah. Managers and owners are also welcome to join. Uh, we only allow 30% of our members to be manager owners. Makes sense. Uh, so they Hold can't on. take Wait. over. Wait, just to clarify, you can still be a member. Yeah. You just won't be a voting member. You get a like, half of a vote if you're a manager owner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Half the cap you do not. Well, if, if, if you, yeah. So we cap it at 30%. If you uh, join and we're at that cap, we're going to make you an ally, which... Anybody can join still, as an ally. It's still a good thing. And yeah. you get to come to a lot of great parties. Uh, we've been to two of them, and they've yeah. actually been a great time. Yeah. Uh, the one at 18 Distillery was a great time. Shout out to 18 Distillery. Yeah. The other one at Talbert Inn was a really good fun party. Yeah. That was your opening party. You're kind of like, yeah. hello, we're launched. here. That was our lunch party. Lunch yeah. party. So that was good. And we're actually going to be doing the show in a, a couple weeks there as well at the Talbert Inn on yeah. the 8th of December, I believe. Nice. Yes. 
so man, I might have to, always a good I might time. have to wear my tuxedo T-shirt up in there, man. It's that's a good, yeah. it's a good venue. Place. It's a nice mad, venue. It's mad. Menu's fancy. great. Drinks are good. Oh, Everybody no. there is great. The oh, staff there is killer. I want to apologize in advance for us bringing down the property value. Big shout out to Nick. <laughs> big shout out to Nick because y'all can't see his expressions while we are doing this. <laughs> and it's either disappointment or fuck yeah. Like, yeah not, no, he looks like he's enjoying himself. I right, think we're doing right, okay. Right. If, if, if I mean, he does have a microphone in front of him, so he doesn't have to talk. If your engineer's facial expressions are any indication that you're doing a good job, I'm feeling good about today. Yeah, we're doing all right. So, Zach, tell me about something that's recently that you guys have been doing. You went down to the council and discussed some things. Lately? Yeah, we, we did. We know we're, we're in the uh, – well, we. I'm in the council in the Wilson Bill. Building probably once a week it feels like at Sounds this point great. just doing all the boring bullshit that nobody wants to do which I get we showed your video of that uh, last event oh good day. yeah 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 uh, we <laughs> those were the highlights and we were there for about four hours oh that's <laughs> awesome well, it was <laughs> we, better than the first time you were there for yeah we, yeah it was a lot longer yeah um, so we we went and testified as the board uh, Mary Che had put a provision in a transportation bill about micro mobility which is the Revel mopeds, the scooters, any you know, the jump bikes, all that kind of stuff. She's the rep uh, from like Upper Caucasia, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, Ward Three, yeah. Ward, Ward Three. three yeah. up, uh, what she li- she lives basically in Maryland, yeah, which more, or less, yeah. more or less. Makes S- sense. S- south, South. Uh, no, no, no. What is South it? Bethesda. South Bethesda. South Bethesda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, way up there. A little bit further inland, Boom. I think. Like, bitch, that's Oxen Hill. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Don't like, bitch, that's Oxen Hill. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, West Oxen Hill? Like, <laughs> so, Mary Che basically wanted to... Uh, Alabama Avenue, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. She, uh, she wanted to get rid of these micro-mobility options between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., which... If you live in, like he's saying, Upper Caucasia, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't impact your life. Right. Yeah. But if you work downtown or northeast or southeast or at the waterfront or anywhere, really, things are happening outside of people living. Yeah, the shitty fucking metro. Shit you know, there's no metro it. access in those times either. Fuck you, metro. Fucking <laughs> Uber and Lyft are way more expensive. So right, when some, it's not just like a fun toy and yeah, actually like some a, people need a to get a scooter to get home. Motor transportation. Yeah. So we, t- we basically were like, this is fucking stupid. This entire idea of this prohibition is dumb. There were good things in that bill. We we came out in support of a lot of them. People wanted sidewalk restrictions and make that kind of in the law. I'm here for it. I'm all but for that, yeah. There was also uh, some testimony there where the people were like, we're only going 10 miles an hour. It's dangerous in the street. Yeah. So they did want to raise the speed limit to 15 miles an hour, which is what it was when it started, and we were all comfortable. So we wanted that to happen. Speed limit increase no ban between yeah. 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. because Metro refuses to acknowledge that people exist in the city yeah. outside of the hours that they operate. Fuck, fuck you, which Wamata. We are very fuck excited to, to know. Fuck you to Wamata. A lot, of, a lot yeah. of people have had a really good fuck life off of working for Wamata. Okay. No, working? Sure. No, 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 no. Unless no. you're in a fucking say, strike wanna, in Virginia. Go, <laughs> I don't want to go full Unless fuck you're a Virginia you, Wamata. <laughs> Unless you care about having a I'm living, just saying, I wanna, you know. I don't want to go full fuck you, Wamata. Oh, I will. I will. I will. I will say this. Fuck Wamada, yo. These motherfuckers make <laughs> me sick. I'm going to let you know right now. These assholes, you ever like, it's like, all right, yo, it's like 1230. You done missed the damn thing for like 12 seconds, and you got to go back up the fucking escalator, and then the asshole who's running the goddamn metro station turns the escalator off on you, and you got to keep walking drunk, oh, fat, man. fat, damn, said by a fucking fat yoda over here, Dang. like just, <laughs> just. Yeah, uh, so Metro's actually going to have a hearing Wamata. in January. <laughs> Metro's going to have a hearing in January. Uh, it's not a hearing because they're not a fucking government agency or entity, but they are going to have a public comment Like a town time, hall. Like, like, a, like t- a town, town hall. hall. Yeah. And we are, oh. we are going to pack that bitch up Man, and I, tell them. Is it possible for a... Uh, for a town hall to end up on World Star, <laughs> <laughs> I think, if I think there we're is gonna figure any it out. Because I feel one. like if there was ever one, <laughs> I think we're gonna figure it out. I like, will use uh, my deepest, darkest Southeast accent in that bitch. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. all right, yeah. What the fuck up with this shit? Well, with yeah. <laughs> like, dog, I will act the fuck. Like, why the fuck, yo? Like, why the fuck? Like, every once in a while, it's like literally, like, yo, it's two o'clock in the morning. Why aren't y'all running? Yeah, there's a city full yeah. of people. There's three thousand people bars trying to get it. Three. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. please, they, they, under, they clearly. I mean, how many drunk people are forced to drive because they don't exactly. want to take a fifty dollar Uber? How many or workers right. that work their day in and day out Who that are, are, are left? And basically, also, three fifteen. Three fifteen. Your metro will be packed. 
Yeah. No yeah. Paying right. customers. Even if it was one train an hour between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., if there's just one train. But if you knew train, the times. If you knew the times. If you were, knew when it was, like, I got to get this 3 o'clock train, I got to get this 4 o'clock train. Not a fucking guess again. Whatever it was. Are, are, is Metro unionized? Um, Depends on which well, sector you're reason, in. The what's, reason what's, why they're a... The Depends reason why the bus drivers are on strike in Virginia they're in a different city is because yeah, Virginia bus drivers unionized. I know the train drivers of well, the, only right. the D.C. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But, but Virginia is a right-to-work state. Yeah. So uh, they tend to be like, hey, unions, so, go fuck yourself. Well, so, so is Maryland and D.C. Yeah, Maryland is. That's what I'm saying. Maryland and D.C. are not right-to-work states. Like union, Maryland is. Union Maryland is a right-to-work state. Sure yeah. I don't think it is. No. Oh, I'm not positive. I'm no. Just yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, union pending. pending okay. Virginia, most definitely. D.C. is yeah, definitely, definitely not. D.C. is no. definitely not right-to-work. It's a, yeah. no, it's I'm a, just outwill. saying, guys. Virginia is at-will. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pending on the union. Virginia is also at-will. And pending on the union laws. Well, Virginia is, yeah, right. So right. I'm trying to say something, goddamn it. Sorry. My bad. I'm just saying pending <laughs> on the union and the union laws, there are time restrictions on your payment. So you can get golden time in certain unions, yep. which is three times. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's the thing. Like, it's three, yeah. times, three times the amount. Three times. Three so times. So once 12 o'clock hits, it's like, hey, you want one and a half. Yep. Then we yep. all know D.C. cheap as shit. That's a good, that's a good point there. Uh, so well, even though they're a profitable company. Oh yeah. And the assets were built by people DC is that a work and live in DC. Well, well, Mata suffers from the same thing that every other corporate entity suffers from, and that is the people, capitalism. Yeah, shareholders. The people, <laughs> the, the, the people, all the profits that are going into these and executive there we pockets. Are, Zach. There we are. Is Jack all Evans? money what? that could be used on fixing the infrastructure, yeah. or paying employees. Yeah. Uh, a decent wage, making sure yeah. that like no one's dying in the subway tunnels or the on the tracks. So or I mean, yeah. this is why that type of shit. I'm assuming this is why you guys put together DC Barwa. This this, this is this is the tip of that iceberg. But this is exactly what it is. There are bigger issues at play in DC that are that are disproportionately affecting workers that just aren't generally addressed. And there's nobody supporting because workers. There's, because there's not enough there's not enough of a voice. Yeah, right. You know, so if, if we coalesce the voice and the effort and the and the passion then that'll completely change the game. And like we saw with the last couple of legislative agenda items we've talked about, uh, especially with the micromobility, they completely removed that ban oh, right on. In, in, during the hearing. No and shit. Mary Chase said, because of us yeah. and our testimony, she was like, yeah. I can't even support this. Even though she hates you guys already. Yes. This is great. I, <laughs> so she I get to was give like Silverman the, yo, I dare you fucking look again. Like, because <laughs> every time I'm in well. front of that woman, it's like, yeah, watch your mouth. I dare you to be disrespectful right now. Yeah. Well, so I mean, like like Zach said, like the, I mean, it really does. Like we, our presence, the fact that we were there, you know, I mean, it really made an impact on 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 the yeah. council no, and no, like no. and what pardon, she. Pardon my ignorance, because sometimes I get wards and precincts confused. Mm -hmm. Where is Ward Three? I know it's Upper Caucasian. It's, it's Upper Northwest. So it's like. So it's like Cleveland Park. So it's Second like District. Park. It's Cleveland Park. It's Second yeah. District. And then above. It's 2D, but it's the third ward, I believe. Yes. Right. Yeah. It, do, it does. It yes. does. Uh, it, it does ward, drift more ward north, three is northwest. So Tenley, AU Park, Woodley Park, Cleveland Park. Our helpful well, Caucasian over there in the corner. War yeah. three, do better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we may have some new but new so blood. Don't make in me the, say it again. Race. Now, to be fair, she's just she's she's the chairman of the uh, she's the chairperson of the what's what's the what's the committee, Zach? Uh, transportation and the environment. Right. So she's a chairperson. I mean, it just so that happens that that's that's her constituency, but like she's the chairperson of that. Yeah. So she, so she was hearing from a lot of her constituency about, like, they're complaining about, like, oh, there are these exactly. new scooters that are always on our sidewalks and, like, blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, oh, know? sorry, sorry. So because American university students who are fucking idiots who don't know how to park their scooters properly, the rest of the city has to suffer. Well, and also, like, K Street bros. Like, <laughs> oh, well, I mean, fuck <laughs> K Street I, I put that up in my testimony. I was like, we're not talking about K, K Street frat boy. Sorry. You know, going to lunch to go get fucking sweet green and pay twenty six dollars for a salad, guys. We're talking about me trying to go eighteen blocks at three thirty in the morning, and it's a little bit cold out, and I don't want to walk. And I want to be a little bit safer. I want to get home in fifteen. Like right. that's what we're talking about. That's how we had to frame the Most conversation. Most time, it's literally I'm just trying to get the fuck home. Yeah, yeah. I've been working. I'm tired. I want to go home. And so and I don't want to pay twenty three dollars yeah. for a fucking lift. Yeah. The point being is that you know we made a present. We made a, we had a presence. At this um, this hearing, and we were able to exact change. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, 
and I yeah. think that, and then that is that that is the crux of our um, wanting to to start this organization yeah. way, way back before even yeah. the vote happened back yeah. in June of 2018 and yeah. you know and I think you know what something that um, Mark Lee had pointed out to us just recently is that you know it's something that we need to really take stock of and be proud of is that yeah. we've really only been a working entity for two months and you yeah. guys are already getting and we're already doing stuff yeah, yeah. So and, I'm not and so thing. one of the things that I'd like that we wanted Zach to talk about is Something that came out of this hearing is that the scooter or the scooter companies actually started approaching us. They reached out to us. They said we were so impressed with your organization, the testimony, the passion behind what you're talking about. We we got to do something. Like we we got to get together because if there's an underserved community, it's us. We we have to. Yeah. And they're like they're the provider and we're the community. Yeah. They're like. There's thirty thousand of you motherfuckers. Like yeah. we, we got to I mean, do something. And, and what I don't to help you. Yeah. And what I don't understand is that, like, okay, were well, you gonna try and put a cap on the scooters? What's next? The bikes? Are the bikes now too dangerous? Well, they to lifted. Be on they, they raised the cap up. They're just gonna be less companies. Right. Uh, but that, 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 that makes sense because I mean, at yeah. one point there's like thirty five fucking different bike. Or, uh, there are a yeah. lot yeah. of scooters. Yeah, I, got, scooter I got a whole, I got a whole yeah. folder, yeah. folder of apps on my phone. That I, mean, what, fucking Bird, Bird I got nine. I have at least nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I have at least Bird nine scooter apps. Stops at like nine though. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, and so like spin, you have to have like a, uh, you have to have a whole driver's license for that one. They, and let's not forget the Rebel scooters too. Those are dope. Those are dope. Those are dope as fuck. Those are dope. I'm not allowed to ride a scooter. Those are Concussion. separate. Like the the wow. Rebel scooters <laughs> are, are separate. Yeah, they're on a different. Yeah, they're they're on a different. Scooters, Wait, yeah. guys, 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 guys. Marcus, so, stay the fuck off the scooter. No, I'm not allowed to Marcus ride a bike. Marcus isn't allowed. Yeah. I'm not allowed by my doctor to be on a scooter or a bike. Fucking can't drive a car. I mean, I'm not your doctor, but I'd probably give you the same advice too. <laughs> we gonna find Marcus. We gonna find. I would have told you that before you got concussed. We gonna find but Marcus butt naked on Alabama Avenue on a jump bike. <laughs> it's just doing figure eights. Shit. I mean, he's gonna be doing figure eights. No, he's gonna be going selling tickets to that show. He's gonna be Dupont yes. going the wrong no, way not, around the he's circle. He's not gonna be riding the bike. He's just gonna be sideways. He's gonna got the kickstand off. He's on his side. <laughs> Just peddling and shit. Going against the traffic. You got a speaker playing with the like the Wicked Witch of the West and shit. Bob and and <laughs> I'll get you now, my right. little pretty. Yeah. Crackheads walking over to him like, man, it's something fucked up with this dude. Like, so there's a thing. When I used to live off Benning Road, nobody fucked uh, me when I would walk Shout up. out to Benning Road. Yeah, shout thank you. Loved you, Benning Road. Yeah, they love me back there in Rosedale. Um, yeah. so uh, shout out to Rosedale. <laughs> What's up, white boy? All right, so back... <laughs> Back to you the can't say hi to yourself. It don't work that way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my mom liking Hence her own pictures on Facebook. Like, lady, it don't, mom, it's not mom, cool. Mom, it don't count. That like don't count. Don't that count. like don't count. You All know. right, so back to what Zach was saying is that, you know, now they're, they're upwards. I can't say for certain what, like, 12 different scooter companies, if not there, more. There's several. There's several. Um, so yeah. come 2020, they're going to be limited to four. They're going to be four, yeah. And um, some and they, of these they companies need you guys are really too. buying to. I hope, I, I, well, Razor, I hope that Razor is one of the surviving four because I love I, those scooters. Yo, Chris, well, well, I, I might hope that as well. Uh, so, so do I'll you be doing silly shit on Razor scooters. The Razors are so. Why well, are you selling yourself out like, like this on, like, on like, Little White? Like, Marcus, first thing first, I can snitch on myself again, white man. Shut up. <laughs> big shit. guy on a little scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, boo, boo. Big guy on a little scooter. Yeah, dude. Oh, trust me. My, my, my rotund ass be looking silly. And my, oh, and my bosses be yelling at me. Be like three times on the scooter. Like, well, they been, got those I've beefier been, ones coming I've been out told now. They're a little by my, more by my employers real. that if I get injured on that scooter, I will never hear the end of it. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's right. I already had one of my coworkers. He <laughs> fucked his elbow up, and he was just like, my boss was straight up like, what to everyone. No! <laughs> Put your stage hands like. Well, we also need to stay safe, guys. So you, you should wear a helmet when you're riding a scooter. No that's drinking. really important. So yeah, definitely don't drink and scoot. Yeah, no don't drinking and scooting. Drink and scoot. Bitches. Now, do you have <laughs> drinking and scooting? Anything <laughs> legislation or anything with this? Oh, any no. more with this to go? Or you got any parties coming up? What's what's the deal here? Uh, we're definitely looking forward to that metro hearing. Like I was saying, we're okay. definitely going to try to bring the hammer when, down. That's do you a know, party. Do you know when that is? It's you not been announced yet. It's going to be in January. In January. So so keep eye open yes. out open for that. We would definitely uh, make a mention of that. Yeah. Maybe we'll bring Zach back on before yeah. or after that event. Yeah, it's going to be lit. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna probably make the nightly news. Can I we think. bring it's the gonna keg? be a Long Island iced tea <laughs> night, ladies and gentlemen. Even yeah, better. No, no, no. Everybody, yeah, everybody, bring your thermos. <laughs> bring your flask. Um, yeah, and so like it's something to look into, like to look forward to that we are gonna mm. hopefully be partnering with some of these 
scooter companies and um, yeah, we're gonna you. have a lot more about the partnerships uh, in the next couple of weeks. But these companies are coming to us, you know, and, it, and it's very clear. You know, there's only gonna be four contracts next year. D Dot has made that clear. Uh, these companies need a little bit of an edge on each other to to maintain that contract. Uh, so. While I understand they're trying to benefit themselves, uh, at the same time, they are genuinely interested in benefiting workers and our membership. And you're going to basically be able to get your entire membership paid for after the generosity and, and strategic partnerships that we've been able to develop with these companies. That's awesome. Um, that's good to hear that. And that's, I mean, and those that like, is great. Those are those tangible services that we've been talking yeah. about like it, uh, through yeah. our organization and this is why you should join barwa this is exactly why you should uh, join this uh, is just the tip this is the tip of the iceberg cuz i'm I lazy like know why that is driving me so fucking crazy <laughs> like, <laughs> i was like i'm going to wait until the end of this show to choke the shit out of him for that one no you should you should but he really keeps saying i'm just like i'm a barwa fuck i like you uh, barwa. you need to talk to me about it. all right yeah, so yeah. so right now where can we go to sign up again you can sign up at any of our events or open meetings we are currently uh, working on the website. The website has a lot of great information. That's dcbrwa.org. Um, Instagram, at dcbrwa. Facebook, backslash dcbrwa. Twitter, dc underscore workers. Um, our email is dcworkersalliance at gmail.com. If you have any questions or you want to know about any events coming up, please shoot us an email, shoot us a text, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Definitely like us on Facebook. Facebook is a great resource for us. It's where we get a lot of our information out there. Um, we're going to try and have at least monthly We're meetings. trying to do monthly open meetings where you can join on site. Uh, if you want to talk to anybody about anything specific, that's going to be where you can get the most face-to-face interaction. Um, if you want to be more involved in DC Bear WA, definitely uh, beyond just being a member, you can also reach out to us on that email or on Facebook. We'd love to, to chat with you. If you have any ideas about partnering in any way, we'd love to talk to you as well. Um, but other than that, I mean, we're just kicking ass and doing what we do best. All right. Yeah, we are. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Zach. You can stay on, Zach, if you want. We're yeah. going to wean ourselves out. Val's yeah, going to yeah. give us a plug. Um, yes, again, Town Tavern. Here we are in the heart of Adams Morgan. And uh, we appreciate everything that they've done for us. Right now, the San, Fr- San Francisco and they the are Packers are playing – the Niners are fucking kicking ass right now. We have the TV yeah, we have right a very, very full bar of happy. It looks like the Niners Packers thought right they were playing the Cowboys tonight, <laughs> or the Eagles, All right, or I didn't Giants. Say that. I didn't say that. You know, I what? threw the Giants in there too. Get it over. When or we, the Bengals. Uh, when we get back, I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm thankful for. <laughs> Which means I'm a fry Marcus's. I think fat, I've got six more things I'm thankful ass for. The fuck up! I swear to God. <laughs> nah. There's a lot of fat to render here, bitch. You ain't going anywhere. Oh soon. no! <laughs> talk all the shit you want to. It's some good dick under this gut. <laughs> I was talking about. You know what I was talking about, Mabel? Move. Shut up! Too. Shut up! Big move. This show is Shut sponsored up. by BDE, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. So <laughs> <laughs> before we get the booze rant or booze corner, uh, you know, being Thanksgiving, I want to have a little. A little happy session of what everybody's thankful for for the year and moving forward into the next year. Uh, Zach, you're our guest. Yeah. How about you start with us? What are you thankful for? Oh, man. I'm thankful for so much. I think I think really at the crux of it, I'm thankful for the, the community of people in the city uh, that have really transformed my life. I got a couple of projects that I'm personally working on. Oh, one, yeah, of them being, <laughs> what, one of them being DCBRWA, uh, which has just been, had an outpour of support. Uh, Bad Zaddy, uh, my film production company, is getting a ton of support from my friends. Uh, my hat says Bad Zaddy tonight. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Bad Zaddy. Um, you want to give a little brief? Yeah, we're, we're, we're basically making industry-focused uh, documentary series and full-length documentaries about the How real, do you feel the real about things. Doing a documentary on the X2. Ooh, just sit on it. Oh, we can get an X2 in a Macumbo Lounge documentary, cuz? I need an X2 documentary. I wanted one forever. Yeah. It All is right, literally, it. It is literally the bus line that covers every fucking let's like, do it. The, slice of this I'm sold. city. It, I'm X2 sold. I know the X2. The, the, Have you ridden the X2? I've never ridden it, but I know exactly what you're talking when about. You the X2, <laughs> the X2 <laughs> is the maybe reason we, why. Maybe we ride it together one day. The X2 is the reason why I don't get high in public no more. <laughs> oh, that was you. Oh, oh shit. that's okay, a lie. That you. you know it. I mean, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's the bus. That's the no. bus. Second of all, you're definitely coming with us on our journey. I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah. Look, in yeah. four blocks, Minnesota Ave or bust, motherfuckers. <laughs> High as shit. Yeah. 
Like I saw a crackhead get into a fight with another crackhead. Somebody like screamed at oh, the you damn ain't breaking driver. No crackhead oh, that. Oh, you gotta let that just dissipate. That's the, you gotta burn. let that burn. You gotta let that's, them burn that's themselves herpes, out. That's herpes, hepatitis A through Z. You gotta let them burn themselves. That's, out. that's also yeah. the bus. The bus driver got pissed thrown at her. Yeah. 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 Oh man, Again. I felt yeah. so and, bad. And when that white girl got her ass wet from saying the N word. So no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna go old school. Vigilante justice. I'm gonna have some phone books. Taped up under my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm like is, that, is that what's going on right now? I see the Baltimore line. I was just gesticulating. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my phone books. Yeah, I'm walking this bitch. Guard. You touch yourself. I'm gonna look like Omar from the well, fucking see, no, wire. If anybody gets too close, <laughs> I'm gonna start Shit. touching myself, and that's how I'm gonna get him to leave me alone. There you go. Yeah. We was gonna rob this dude, but then he just shoved his hand <laughs> down his <laughs> pants and started beating it. We were like, Nah, I told nah, you, look, not this guy. <laughs> nah, not really good, anyone you else. Good, you good, you my good. son, my son ain't gonna be the only one to catch me jerking off this moment. Oh, you wanna catch one of these? What? All right, Jamie, what do you thankful for, sir? I would like to say I am thankful for Marcus and his new titties. Uh, oh, I don't have the titties yet. I don't have the titties yet. Are they new? I just bought them. I got a, I got a lot a lot of things to be thankful for. I would like to thank uh, CPS for not coming to my house because I've dropped my kid off late ten times in a row. Oh, um, no. He's still breathing. I would like to thank God for carpet because I dropped this nigga last week. And <laughs> If it wasn't for carpet, it'd have been a brand new emergency well, room visit. Uh, They're like cats, right? They land on their feet. Don't no, they? no, they sometimes, don't. They, they land sometimes. on their necks. They land on their necks. <laughs> and my Mine son, always land on their butts. I ain't gonna hold you, like Jamie. I, every once in a while, I'm like, nigga, I hope to God you make it to twelve. Because <laughs> he just be Is that the doing cutoff? shit like just. That's when the brain starts fully developing. I would, I would like to say I'm, I'm very thankful uh, for no, my okay. son. And Starts. also, I would like to say first and foremost, since I gotta go back home and deal with my family, I am thankful for drugs. Because I'm going to kill a motherfucker when I get up there if it wasn't for him. Mood. And I just want to let the world know, I want to thank God, weed. Mad dogs. Mad dogs. I'm going to have a couple of those, too. Fuck right. you, dog. Don't be calling me out, yo. Big <laughs> shout out to the Toro Lounge back home. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for a good show, back. Thank you. Not you, Marcus. You, you ain't showing me your titties yet. But like, I get always, the, I get, the night is young. I, I can always turn your mic on. Also, big shout out to Valerie because she made us a smorgasbord of Asian yes, cuisine. Yes, yes. Yeah, I missed this out on that. It looked good. It's there. Yeah. Like, There's still some left. All right, well. There's still some left. Not, okay. the, not the egg Noted. rolls. I don't know if I'm being racist right now, but I'm going to just call them egg rolls. Fire. <laughs> they are egg rolls. I mean, they're just the okay, neighboring. Egg rolls. That's a neighbor, right? Yeah. It's yeah. a neighbor. Val Torres. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you thankful for? I am thankful for a lot of things. I think that, you know, like I'm thankful for my friends and family. Um, I am thankful that while I don't get to see my friends and family very often anymore, that they still are big parts of my life. And even though okay. I've had to work a lot, um, you know, they're still there for me. I am 100% thankful for the Nationals winning this year. There you yes. go. That's a good one. Ooh. Oh, don't forget the Mystics. Maybe the Baby Shark. No, big and shout the, out to well, the Mystics. The, well, and the Mystics. So, we have to, wait, maybe to, the fair, we have to wait a year for the, the parade. To be fair. The Nationals, I've always been, like, since they've come, I've, you followed I've, them, I've, yes. I followed them. I, I know. you know, like I you said, like devoted. I started, yeah. like, even when during their spring training. But also because of the Nationals, we made a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> Most of us in the industry made a lot of money from them going all the way. Well, I didn't have to. You know? I ain't going to say time. thank the Nationals, but that, that bread was good as shit. Though. <laughs> 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 that so money was So I was thankful for that and thankful that we were part of that. That was history in the making and, you know, it's a good year so far. All right, Boo. So go into your corner and what no, you no, think. No, 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 no. What are you thankful for? Yeah, no, what are you no. thankful um, for, Marcus? Yeah, you go, and then I'm going to go, and then I will segue in, too. Okay. Marcus, what are you thankful <laughs> for, Marcus is sir? thankful for ugly glasses. As I, like, hi, as yeah, I, I, have hi, no choice as I hijack the end of the show. Brand those new bras. Pres- those are prescription. They scription, bro. Prescription Converse. Gay chicken. Oh, oh gay where's chicken. Where's that picture at? I have I'm it gonna bring that up. It's okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have Marcus. it. Go ahead, Marcus. Uh, I will always with friends and family. Always also for the misfits, all of you. Child protective service. I'll be calling you next week on Jamie. <laughs> 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 when you a foster dad, I ain't trying to hear shit about it. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna turn this nigga to the DC you know jail? The time's like, <laughs> you know the government ain't gonna hand no baby over to that man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I live in Maryland. And also, I want to thank everybody here. Everybody's part of the show. Put time in, Nick. I thank him for you as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Nick's great. Me, I am thankful for everybody at this table. 
Um, thankful for everybody that has paid any bit of attention to us. Uh, thankful for my friends, the ones that have chosen to stick by me after all this time. My family, especially my babies. Uh, my lovely lady, Sarah, very thankful for you. It's been a dope year. Um, hopefully I won't drive you screaming off into the hills this coming year. But I digress. Um, thankful for my bands. Shout out to Supreme Commander and the Mighty Trouble Threat. Um, you know, it's really awesome to be affiliated with some, so many fun and talented musicians. Shout out to IATSE Local 22, my favorite, my only union, the only union I will ever, ever want to be a part of as far as I know. So you can quote me on that for now. <laughs> and so with that, um, we're going to take a moment and uh, step into what we have now called, step onto what we are now referring to as Boo's Corner. For those of you who don't know. I'm Boo. Nice to meet you. What up, How you Bill? doing? Um, so I witnessed uh, a speech given uh, at an event by, um, I, sorry, I'm blanking on the event, but Sasha Baron Cohen. You may know him as Borat or... Um, Ali G. Yeah, Ali, Ali G. G. Um, you know, seen the him dictator. in Talladega Nights, the Dictator. Um, he gave a speech... Um, and it really, really touched on me. And there's a, a lot of, there's a considerable amount of irony involved in this rant because it involves Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and social media in general. And basically, he went off and put his, he basically went and put his foot in Mark Zuckerberg's ass and broke it off because these platforms have such an amazing and enormous pull and amount of power. And they are allowing themselves to be corrupted by conspiracy theorists. Prop, you know, they're you know they're letting uh, basically letting Republicans lie. You know, you can basically lie on Facebook now, and they've said that they're not going to police their their shit, and they're trying to straddle the fence between you know supporting the First Amendment and you know we're a private corporation, we do what we want, and you know I think one of the points that um, he was trying to drive home is that you know the amount of information and, and power that these there's the the silicon six as they're referred to um is is just unchallenged you know and he made a there was a really good comparison that was made where you know when the industrial revolution happened we had all these advances in like ways to you know produce and manufacture with that came the responsibility of making sure that this was done safely. So, you know, we had safety regulations. We had regulations, you know, limits on labor, the amount of time you can have a person work. Child labor. You know, age-wise, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people yeah. lost things. And, yeah. and so with yeah. that, given the amount of influence that these, you know, these social media companies have, there needs to be a similar check and balance in there. They need to be able to regulate. You know, basically he was like, you know, Facebook right now is basically allowing everyone from Holocaust deniers to, you know, just to ev just, yeah, to just block, just to put it out there, you know, and, and along with YouTube and, you know, shout out to Twitter, who was, was my nemesis, up, yeah. and they've just decided to not let do political ads at all. And so that's going to lead me to my next thing. And some of y'all going to take issue with this. I really don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your fucking conspiracies. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. Fuck you and your Infowars. Fuck you and your fucking Glenn Becks. Fuck you and your QAnons. Fuck you and all that shit. If you bring me a fucking article about how Trayvon's murder was a conspiracy to get his father elevated into some mm, secret fucking society, yeah, yeah. we got a fucking problem. I haven't seen that one. You, oh, dude. But yeah, no, I've, that's, seen, that's I've some, seen some doozies but, in the last you know, couple just, weeks. I know you know, what you it's, mean. It's, it's, it's to the point now, and one, another point that Sasha Baron Cohen, Cohen made is that lies spread faster than truth. Pizza gate. And yeah. right now, yeah. right now, it is pretty safe to say that like 80% of the shit that you're fucking seeing, just like when you watch TV, 80% of the ads that you see on TV are bullshit. Yeah, totally. Yeah. They lie to you just enough to get you fucking in the door, you know, and get your shit. The same thing is fucking going on with social media. And until they put in the checks and balances, you need to take every news article that you see with a giant grain of salt. You need to vet that shit, find three other fucking sources yeah. that verify yeah. it before you go and regurgitate yeah. that fucking bullshit. We had somebody in 
testifying before Congress, Dr. Fiona Hill, shout out, who basically told all of them that every time you say that Ukraine will try to interfere in our elections, you are helping the Russians. Yes. This is their fucking yep. propaganda, their talking point. They made So that. pull your head out of your fucking asses. Stop regurgitating bullshit. And lastly, because we are on these platforms, because we are on Facebook, because we are on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc., etc., use these people like they use you. Use it to promote your shit. But do not sell your shit on Facebook. Do not use Facebook Market. Do not click on Facebook ads. Same with all these other platforms. Use them to push your shit. But do not buy shit off of them. Because that's how they fucking make money. It's not an and it's the exchange. only fucking way you can make a fucking impact. It's the only way that stupid fuckerberg... Fuck you, yeah, Mark fuck Zuckerberg. Mark, fuck it's the only fucking way that dickheads like him will fucking understand what the fuck is going on. And by the way, get ready to start fucking getting out in the streets, bitches. Get it's ready to start. Get Shout ready. To get ready to start fucking getting your Hong Kong, your Chile, your fucking everything on because motherfuckers are too comfortable. And it's about time. Like, you, it, it's about that yeah. fucking time. Yeah. And uh, that, uh, that's, that's all I got to say. Shout oh. out to all of you. Peace and love. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't get any on you. Val, where are we at? We are at the Town Tavern, D.C., in the heart of Adams Morgan. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They, uh, shout out to the staff who's here. Thank you to Gracie and the rest of everybody else who's here. Great, um, Natalie and Carl behind the bar upstairs, and the kitchen who let us come, who let me go in there and fry up the lumpia and everything else. Nice. Town Tavern Hashtag is lumpia. awesome. We love them. All right, guys. Thank you for another show. Uh, th this is our Thanksgiving show. Thank you, everybody here. Zach, Carl, everybody, Nick. Uh, please follow us. On Twitter, right, DC Misfits. Give a shout out to Rico over at, uh, at Tiki on 18th. Tiki on 18th, y'all. Yeah. All right. Go see Rico there. Register to vote. Yes, get off your fucking asses and register to fucking vote. Yep. Also, our next show will be at Talbert Inn on the 8th of December. Check us there. Follow us on Twitter, DC Misfits. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, the District of Misfits show. Love you guys. Good night, heathens. Bye. Good bitches. night.